morning everybody or oh, actually it's good evening it's like 11 o'clock at night welcome back to London I hope you enjoyed our UK series but we're actually leaving now so we're heading towards the airport and because we're kind of bleeding dry this last bit of brick rail juice we can actually jump on the Heathrow Express train as a part of our ticket rather than booking accommodation tonight because we have a 6 a.m. flight we thought let's just do an all-nighter and head to the airport yeah <laughs> but I thought I'd show you guys what the Heathrow Express is like it's like a much quick way to get to the airport it's about 15 minutes to get in rather than like around an 15, hour yeah, it usually an takes hour an hour uh -huh. so yeah, that I'll show you guys if you were interested in what it looks like this is actually the perfect time to leave the UK because it's actually getting really really chilly and I'm ready for some warm all right because we're leaving from Terminal 5, it took us like 20 minutes to get in. So if you guys don't want to do the big long hour trip in, I know it's pretty good. I'm just happy we can use our pass to get in. It's now midnight and we can't check in till 3 a.m. and I'm already so sleepy. <laughs> when was the last time we pulled an all-nighter? Oh, it's been a long it's been time. A while. And wow, this airport just looks it's dead. dead. Wow. Oh, I didn't expect this. Oh, it's unless busy. there's no flights maybe running at this time. What are you gonna do in Heathrow for three hours? It really is so dead. Just us and the cleaner. Yep, that's us. We're not going to Madrid, but we're stopping in Madrid, so that's our first flight of the day. 6.20 a.m. Alrighty guys, it's... <clears throat> Whoa, losing my voice. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it is 4.30, so it's been four hours since we last checked in. I don't even think any of the shops are really open just yet, but I realise we didn't tell you where we're going. We're actually heading to Morocco, and we're flying British Airways, which we've never flown before, so I'm actually a little bit excited to fly them, because they're like the first airline I'd ever heard of as a kid. My best friend decided to go jet-setting around the world when I was like seven years old, so yeah, I'm excited to finally actually test them out. Back 11, oh no, not even 21 years later. Welcome aboard. So, our review um, no screens, no window seat. Steve? 21 years in the making. 21 years in the making. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we've had no sleep, so. Very much see you in Madrid in two hours time. Bye. Welcome to Spain everybody. Welcome to Madrid and I'm just saying you guys in the UK have it so good that two hour flight like you guys would just be on holiday and for us that wasn't even just a flight coming from Australia. <laughs> But yeah, we just got to Madrid, we pretty much have a one hour layover before we have to leave, so we're just at our gate. But flying Iberia Air, which I've never heard of, so we've never flown them before. We'll give you guys our review inside the plane. Basically the same. But we have a window. <laughs> Yay. Star in the sky So we've just got our bags and this is a really nice airport. It looks super new. I think they've just built it. Alrighty guys, we've been away for 30 hours, I think. All well, this whole travel day has been that. We're through this airport. I can't get over how nice it is, but we have actually organized a Airbnb pickup because we are staying in Marrakesh for five days before we actually begin this whole Morocco trip. But I think that should be outside. We paid like 20 euros, which I'm not too sure what the price is, but this takes us straight to our Airbnb, but this is so nice. Hey Welcome everyone. to Marrakesh everyone! It is a couple of days later. We are so excited to show you around. We are staying at an Airbnb right in the heart of the Medina. This place was only 60 Australian dollars a night and we're basically staying in an apartment. Yeah, we have this whole place to ourselves which is, it's like way lower than what you should really be paying to stay in the heart of the Medina. And the best bit is we have a rooftop. And when we arrived, the owner actually took us to the rooftop, showed us the amazing views, and then served us traditional Moroccan tea. Yes. So that was like our first experience of Morocco. Is this where you have to pour it? Yeah. <laughs> really high? Part, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right part. Which is really cool. Which after like a 30 hour flight was really welcoming to have that and drink some 
nice warm tea. So we've basically been taking it easy for the past few days and we found this really cool cafe right near our place. It's called a Tay Cafe. And guys, you need to go there. They serve amazing food, but they also serve delicious orange and ginger juice, like fresh juice, like the best juice I've ever had. So this is the view that we have from our cafe. It's really cool. So you can look down into the marketplace there. Got a bit of a mosque over there. This is so cool being on the rooftops. So it is Friday, which if you guys are traveling through Marrakesh, Friday is one of the best days to walk around because it is holy day, because it's a lot more quieter in the Medina. Usually it can be quite chaotic. The last few days have been crazy. Yeah, so this is nice. Like it's 10 a.m. We're not even up that early on our standards. And this is like quiet for yeah. this, this is the, area. This is the Gemma Elfner. I hope I'm pronouncing that yeah. right. This is like the main marketplace and this is where you come at night to just get that chaotic feeling of And this Marrakesh. is where you can get the best street food at night. So we're definitely going to come here at night. We still haven't eaten here yet. No, That's we haven't. the thing that has to happen. But yeah, just going to stroll around and actually enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting to see what's going on out there. And then we see what we are currently consuming. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't really make sense. It's kind of interesting because there's so much like French influence here. Like we're walking down the streets and people are like, ciao, which I did not expect. So yeah, people speak French and Arabic here. And we've come to a little cafe for a coffee. And he was like, do you want a croissant with that? I'm like, what? Like, this is so French. This is Look so at that. strange, yeah. I know. So uh, we just finished our coffee and... Um, Stevens had this little buddy just chilling out with him. Oh my god, he's literally just made himself a home on your lap. You know when like oh. an animal gets comfortable on you? Like we're done for the day. I don't think we can show you any more of America. <laughs> oh my god. It's like vibrates through my body. Aww. Guys, even on Fridays, the silks don't sleep. <laughs> Guys, if you are interested in shopping in Marrakesh, there's some really unique things to pick up. Of course, we're kind of walking through the spices at the moment, but if you wanted to get some Moroccan bowls, like the tagines, or if you wanted some lamps, there's a lot here. <laughs> Why are you filming my babies? Yeah, I want one. One that's not so big. And of course it wouldn't stick out so much. <laughs> Alrighty, so I really wanted to try and get a new like bum bag and um, I haggled this down. They were wanting 200 dirham and I got it out for 90. So it's like I got it for what, nine euros or something? But I've got it and I realized I think it might be too small for my phone. What you, what you got in there? Can we do a bag tour quickly? We have. Like, let's see, this is... Sunnies, mm -hmm. that ne definitely need a new one, and a queen. And pocket money. I told, oh, I wanted to put something in there, but, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to fit my phone. And that was the purpose of the purchase. I and now Stephen's teasing totally me. I the record totally against the purchase. Stephen doesn't like bum bags. Hating on the bum bag, I like the idea. Hey, SKE, she can't even put anything in there, just... <laughs> 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 Alrighty guys, so we just went to a local market and picked up a bunch of veggies. We all had like bags full ready to cook and now we're going to go and get some bread, some mint and then we're heading off to our cooking class. So we actually came down to the marketplace to pick everything up and it rained this morning which was kind of good because everyone in the market was really slow to get ready which means we got to watch the marketplace go from no fruit and veggies to just slowly get filled up and just the way that they you know, ran this operation was so interesting to watch. I'm so glad that everyone was super slow this morning. It almost was so authentic that it was fake, if you know what I mean. It felt like it was a movie set. <laughs> Thank you. It's really cool because we haven't been to one, but we are currently going into a Riyadh where we're going to be doing our cooking lesson, but they just told us that first up, we learn how to make some Chinese gunpowder green tea. Rather than stirring your tea, the more times that you Pour it, then put it back into the kettle, then pour it, then put back into the kettle. The more times you do that, the better quality of the tea. I swear, this is the most elaborate tea making process we have ever seen. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I feel like I'm going to start crying. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So this is what it's starting to look like a tagine. Look at this. Find the step. So look fancy. <laughs> All right, ready? All righty. An hour and 45 minutes. Wow. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> that looks really good. That looks good. Pretty impressed. That's a proper one. That's great. I'm so hungry as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that little taste of Marrakesh. What we've seen so far, this place is like nowhere we've ever been before. We are here for a few more days, so we're going to show you a bit more around the city, but wow. I know we keep saying when we visit places, it's like a movie scene. It literally felt like we walked into Agrabah <laughs> in Aladdin, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new around here, Morocco is just I don't know if you heard that, but I think a thunderstorm is on its way. Wow, the weather is just... <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. But, but yeah, if you are new around here, we'd love for you to hit subscribe because we're spending like two weeks here exploring the country. We're going to show you everything. But mm -hmm. thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. And so today we're focusing on the food. Yes. We're going to be doing a street food tour here in Marrakesh. Okay, so show us how we have to eat this. Like okay, the so I'm going to grab some of my hands. Wow, the last time we did this was in Malaysia, I think. Yeah. <laughs>